Hey everybody, today I want to try and build a thermal scope for a Nerf Blaster. And I'm going to base it off of this Wio terminal and the Grove infrared 8x8 thermal temperature sensor. I also have this additional battery pack that just clips onto the back of the Wio terminal. The Wio Terminal is an all-in-one Arduino compatible development board that includes some buttons and a screen and a bunch of I.O. ports. It also runs at much higher clock speeds at usually 120 MHz but can boost up to 200 MHz. It also has a nice USB-C connection so you can connect it to your PC to program. I got the inspiration for this project from the Wio Terminal wiki page where they build a thermal imaging camera. And I thought, well, that would be easy. Just put it on a box and slap it on a Nerf Blaster. But nothing is ever that easy. So I copy and paste the code into Arduino and upload to the Wio Terminal. Okay, something's happening. Let's see what it does. Ah, I've got the sensor pointed directly at me, but it's not showing the heat map as clearly as I would have liked. So there's either a problem with the sensor, uh, with the code, or maybe something wrong with me. Okay, something else I'm noticing as I'm putting it away towards my computer screen is that the left and the right direction seem to be mirrored. So I'm going to dig into the code a bit and see if I can uh, find a solution to some of these problems. And this is the code. I only needed to make a few small changes. First was just changing the temperature minimum and maximum. And then change this line to reverse the left and right scrolling. And then I also made the crosshair a bit bigger. I'll put this uh, updated version and get up with a link below. Okay, let's try it again. With the sensor pointing at me, uh, you can definitely see a much clearer picture now. and pointing the sensor forward towards the screen. Now the left and right works the right way as well. And you can see there's a much bigger crosshair. Now all I need to do is build the enclosure. Okay, that all seems to work. Let's put it on the Nerf Blaster and see what it looks like. Yeah, a bit of a tight fit. I might have to file it down a little bit. Just testing it on my 3D printer. I've switched it on so it's it's preheating and you can see the thermal camera is picking that up. 
Taking a few steps back, it's still picking up the heat. The range isn't isn't excellent, but then again, this is just nerf. Pointing at at bigger objects like the laptops and the screen seems to give me much more range, even though they're not as hot as the heating bed. Now let's just test it out in the real life scenario. I didn't even load it. <laughs> oh, <no>. ah! <laughs> Wait, I did it! Oh my god! <laughs> Hitman, silent assassin. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. I'll put all the resources and the links below. Thanks for watching.